In this lesson, you will learn about the review of regenerative medicinal products, RMPs, in Japan. This is the definition of regenerative medicinal products in Japan. Regenerative medicinal products are defined by the law on securing quality, efficacy, and safety of products, including pharmaceuticals and medical devices, the PMD Act. It states, Regenerative medicinal products are defined as processed live human animal cells that are intended to be used for either reconstruction, repairing, augmentation, or formation of the structure or function of the bodies of humans, or treatment or prevention of disease in humans, or the products for gene therapy. There are regulations specific to RMPs such as the Ministerial Ordinance on Good Gene Cellular and Tissue-Based Products Manufacturing Practice, GCTP. The GCTP guidance covers the regulations on manufacturing control and quality control for regenerative medicinal products. These are the main features of RMPs. First, it is most likely that RMPs are designed for unmet medical needs, usually targeting diseases with no existing therapies. In such cases, patient numbers are very limited, and thus the number of study patients for clinical trials is also limited. Second, it is sometimes difficult to conduct controlled studies to demonstrate the clinical efficacy of RMPs, especially in the medical environment in Japan. RMPs sometimes require invasive procedures, which is one reason that makes it difficult to create a control group. And some RMPs are made of autologous cells, and it is necessary to take a cell tissue sample from the patient to stop manufacturing the RMPs. This procedure is also a reason for the difficulty in creating a control group. For these reasons, demonstrating the efficacy of RMPs is difficult. Third are the product characteristics. Since RMPs are made of cells, including autologous cell tissue, the product is heterogeneous. The product is not uniform like a chemical entity. It may have to take into account the design of the clinical trial and may also affect the results of the clinical trial. Regarding the application dossiers for market authorization of RMPs, ICH M4 Common Technical Document CTD, or Summary Technical Documentation STED, from the Global Harmonization Task Force GHTF, are applicable depending on the characteristics of the product as long as the following contents are included in the dossier. This slide shows the review process. First, the PMDA receives an application dossier from an applicant. A review team reviews the data and information and asks questions and or requests additional information if needed. The review team then prepares a review report 1, which includes a summary of the product, such as the manufacturing process, quality control, process validation, and non-clinical and clinical data. Next, external experts are consulted regarding key issues. We send the report 1 and the application dossier to the committee members. Then, based on the expert discussion at the meeting, we prepare a review report 2 that states the PMDA's opinion on whether the drug is approvable or not. Thereafter, the PMDA sends the report to the MHLW and based on the report, the Advisory Committee, Pharmaceutical Affairs and Food Sanitation Council under the auspices of the MHLW discuss the product and the committee advises the MHLW on approvability. The MHLW gives a final decision of approval or disapproval for each medical product. This slide shows the special conditional and time-limited authorization. This is specific to RMPs.
under this pathway, data on clinical safety are necessary, but the results of confirmative study are not required if the efficacy can be estimated from phase 2 or other studies. Once the product is designated for conditional early approval, the applicant submit an NDA, New Drug Application, without the results of the confirmatory clinical trial. Since efficacy is speculation at the point of approval, the approval is valid with a time limit of up to seven years, depending on the product. This is a kind of temporary, tentative license. After conditional and time-limited authorization, the applicant must conduct studies to evaluate efficacy and safety and report to the PMDA, the MHLW, and a scientific review will be conducted to evaluate if the temporary marketing authorization should be upgraded to normal marketing authorization or be revoked, cancelled. This is a special two step approval for RMPs. With regard to the post marketing studies to collect data on efficacy, the applicant who is the marketing authorization holder of the conditional and time limited authorization at this point needs to discuss with the PMDA about the design of the studies. In addition, pre-submission consultation is required before the second application to upgrade the conditional and time limited authorization to normal marketing authorization. Since 2016, the MHLW PMDA has established a public patient registry system to follow up on the patients who are treated with RMPs. This system helps conduct the post-marketing clinical studies and collection of the study data. The study data will be included in the data for re-examination of the product and could become basic information for new products to be developed or may be useful to develop guidelines for the field in the future. This slide shows how to access the PMDA's review report on its website. If you visit the PMDA English website, you can find this chart. Click Approved Regenerative Medical Products. Then click Review Reports. The original reports are written in Japanese, but English reports are also available, especially for recent approvals of new products you can find various review reports for RMPs on this site.